Well, it is the Super Bowl of the technology world, and this year's Consumer Electronics Show is already exceeding expectations. So what are the most innovative gadgets that everyone is talking about? Kurt, the cyber guy, just got back from the showcase in Las Vegas and joins us now with an inside look at the top tech of 2017. You must have been in heaven. I love it, Abby. <laughs> I mean, it's the Super Bowl of technology. It's yeah. what we really forecast 2017 to bring us. And what I try to look for is not what the future holds for us, because there's a lot of bells and whistles there, stuff that we'll never own, that just they're trying to show off, but I look for what's practical and what's real and what's really coming for us. And what I notice is TVs are big, 4K, you'll hear a lot even more this year, but more affordable. And you'll also see that what was gimmicky in terms of like a connected home and voice, like we were talking earlier about Alexa, that's gonna become even bigger for us this year. So wow. start to think about not what's the technology there that is, not futuristic, but what does it really do for me this year? Right, and that's, that's what, what we're finding. So That's what people care about. So walk us through some of the highlights. The Sony Bravia OLED TV. Wired Magazine just called this the most gorgeous TV at the show. This is an amazing Sony Bravia OLED TV. So what this means is that you've taken the existing TVs that are best of the best that are out there right now, and now you've sort of doubled the, uh, the resolution of the screen uh, width-wise and also the horizontal look at this. It's an incredible set. Wow. It's gaining a lot of attention at the show. You're going to see this coming out later this year. It has got, uh, I mean, a lot of people talking about it. Three additional uh, 4K TVs from Sony coming out. A lot more choice for consumers. They have not talked about price on this one yet. I was going to say, yet. how much is that, baby? No, but I'll tell you about <laughs> TVs, though. When you buy a TV, so when you see a TV like this and, it's set, and the price point might not be comfortable right now, mm -hmm. watch that go down. It's going to. It's going to go down. Okay. And the TVs that are great now, now will drop in price. Also, look at this. You go out and about, and you want to be in your own world. We'll bring an 800-inch TV giant screen and put it on your head. That's what the Royal Moon headset does. Ooh. You put this on. It's super comfortable, by the way, and you can be on an airplane and be in your own world. It's got noise-canceling audio inside of it, and it recreates the illusion that you're watching either 2D or 3D in an 800-inch curved TV experience uh, while you know playing what? phenomenal audio. My New Year's resolution was living in the present. That's not going to help me out so much. <laughs> not gonna, so the Echo, how do you say this? Echo Smart Bike. The Echo Smart Bike. So what's cool is when you find somebody that's taken an ordinary bicycle and reinvented it entirely with this very incredible smart bike. Look at this. Eleven. My bike gets stolen. Yeah. What happens? Yeah, you can get our cloud service to get your bike. So yeah, you, you can, can see where your bicycle is yeah, and course. go get it. Yeah, of Sucker. course. <laughs> really incredible smart just anything you can wow. think of that you wish your bicycle did this will do no idea the price yet no idea when it's going to hit the u.s market uh, uh honestly they did a phenomenal job building this bicycle and what i love is that no one can take my bike without me right. knowing where it is. And then if you're biking together, you can invite people through their bike OS operating system. And you can walkie talkie to one another if it's your family that's riding. They really nailed that's it on great. this one. And it's an interesting company that's sort of a secret in Silicon Valley that's just coming out. This is a Chinese company that has mm -hmm. just splashed in the US in October in San Jose, California. And then we're seeing exactly what they're doing now. We're gonna see a lot more of this. Yes, All right, we are. Good to see you this morning. You, Happy Abby. Friday. Heather, over to you. Thanks so much, you guys.